So, once we have finally obtained a properly designed connection, and which functions for all the design loads and combinations, we may then take such connection, and through the standard tools, propagate it throughout the structure. For instance, we've taken this connection, and copied to both the right, and the left side of the structure. And remember, that as long as we count with this bounding box around the connection, we'll be able of performing a parametric addition of its properties. For instance, let's say that we need these columns to be supplied as entire beams. So we don't have any type of joint across the element. And if that's the case, we'll have to obtain a drawing in which such elements, are shown as entire beams. Now, and as you can see, the column is being shown as a single complete beam, along with the detail of all of its connections. And of course dimensions, and labels. At least, for the first connection.